Hello everyone, <clears throat> this is Jeff Preston, and I know several of you are aware that I recently um, purchased my cylinder uh, arm machine. And uh, this is a prototype of a bag that I've been making in vinyl, though it looks like leather, actually feels like leather, um, but I did it in vinyl. And <clears throat> a couple things about this. One is that you'll see they're sewing um, on the outside edge there, just top stitching, probably could have made that uh, a much bigger stitch. But again, this is all prototype. Um, but what I wanted to show you is if you look at the barrel ends, they are riveted in and they're not really sewn in. So when you see that, I'm trying to get a better picture of it, that sewing aspect of it, the sewing aspect is to um, just a finishing look and does partially attach the barrel. You'll also notice that on this bag that vinyl inside and out. So yeah, I did back to back vinyl. So it does take a lot of vinyl to make it. My point is this bag <clears throat> was riveted and I did that because it is just too difficult to get in there with my table machine. Um, and this is one of them. I'm going to put that aside. <clears throat> um, some of you have seen, I think the brown version of it which has a handle on it as well um, and don't get me wrong I think aesthetically I think that those rivets look nice that's kind of cool and fun but they present other challenges um, and sometimes you want a clean look so that bag and the blue bag over there they were both done um, with my Thor 1541 S um, <clears throat> industrial so the bag I'm getting ready to show you, which I not 100% complete. Um, this bag, oops, turned the right way, was done on the barrel. I'm sorry, done on the cylinder machine. So what's the big difference? Uh, first of all, no rivets. Very clean looking, right? Everything else the same construction, vinyl on both sides. But you'll see here, I was able to sew um, with my cylinder machine and. Uh, show in the next bit here what that looks like okay picking up where I left off <clears throat> here's the new monster a cylinder arm machine so you'll see that it's got open space underneath of it so I can work all down in here um, <clears throat> you all know what it's like when you're trying to crunch a bag up and it's all crammed up in here and it's just awful uh, and then on top of that you have to berth it it's not fun now, the kind of bag that I'm doing here, this is not a berthing bag. There's no, you know, interior except for, again, I double lined the vinyl. So it's important to, to understand that the problem is, again, that I couldn't get in here to sew before. So um, because if you look at how close this foot is to the edge, sorry about my camera, I'm trying to talk and, you know, do this at the same time. Um, that I can actually get in so far um, um, with the bag. And so I'm going to attempt to do that and hold the camera at the same time. So this is going to be much more complicated than chewing gum and walking. So here we go. <clears throat> so you can see here, there. I have the ability now to get in and sew all the way around. I'm sure you all want to see this thing sew. And, when I do another one, I'll probably just do a little video of me doing it. But I just thought you would see that's how I was able to achieve that and sew this together.